bats, they are simply going to run towards, they are going to run forwards. They're not going to bother with the, um, <clears throat> with marching in step. They're just going to get where they need to go as quickly as they can, take cover again, and then continue firing. Come down from the wall, please. Thank you. So, once again, they're, they'll continue firing this sort of steady rate, keeping up at their enemies. Now, the drummer is playing to signal the end. The drums not only will keep the men in step, but also will convey signals in order to tell the men what to do. Imagine you might not be able to hear your officer's commands over the sound of the battlefield. Now they're marching, now they're marching by files. They've recently formed a front. So they so they, you can change, you can adapt, you can move very easily at the open and the extended order without having to worry about being in lockstep. Oh. Oh, right. oh, They're now fixing their bayonets. <laughs> the British Army is very disciplined, they're very well trained. And in North America, the rebels they're fighting are not very disciplined, are not very well trained. And they're typically fighting from behind cover, such as earthworks or a stone wall. So you're not going to drive the enemy for out from behind cover just by shooting at them. So what the British do instead is they will conduct a fast, effective bayonet charge. Charge your nuts! It's a logical thing to run away, and that's what the American Army does very often at the beginning of the Revolutionary War, especially, say, fighting around New York City in 1776. The British win a lot of battles this way. 